What is going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to tile textures using a texture coordinate node. So what this will look like in your end result, so if we open up this wood material and I drag this value, is I'll be able to tile this wood texture across the surface. If you look at something like this texture, so if I close that, or material should I say, let's drag that on, you'll see this one, oh, doesn't tile quite right, it's way too big. By coming to here and we just click and drag to show it dynamically moving, we can then start setting it up correctly. Obviously type in just flat values if you want as well. But yeah, you'll get your texture tiny across the surface. So how do we do that? If we jump into a material that you previously made, let's go into our wood and I'm actually gonna get rid of the part I've just made. There you go. I'm gonna click apply. So now this will not tile. Grab down, pop that in there. Okay. So with your whole texture system set up, what you've got to do is hold U and left click and get a texture coordinate node. So hold U on your keyboard, left click. If you forget the shortcut, you can just right click in an empty spot and write in texture coordinate and you'll get it in. Now, if we were to plug all these in, and click apply, you'll basically get no result. If I were to click the text coordinate node and manually change them, so let's go free, free, you'll get it tiling. But if you want to manually change it on the fly, what you've got to do is take this out, type in multiply, oh, type in multiply, there you go, or hold M left click and then connect it that way, either or. But plugging it into a multiply node, we'll plug that into all of our UVs for our textures. Hold one and left click and convert this to a scalar or a parameter or S and left click to get that by default. Put it in there. We're gonna call this scale. We're gonna set it to one by default. Now if I click apply, and you make sure to right click and actually turn this into an instance, put that in, you'll now be able to change that dynamically. And that's how you tile your textures. One other tip you can do is in here i like to set up something called an append vector i get two one constant so one and left click to get those i always forget the order so we're just going to call it x and y and now if i were to click apply we'll have these two separate oh actually set them to one by default so our texture actually works at the very least by default there you go now, close that. If I were to open up the instance, so again, if you haven't made the instance, create instance from that material. We've got X and Y. So now one will control one direction. That looks very trippy. Ooh. And one will control the other. So if you have a texture that's a little bit squished, you can manually change that. I hope this helps you guys. We've got this now really thin um, boards because I've squished it in one direction. Yeah, I hope this helps you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.